Hello, Cougars! I want to tell you about an exciting web application called Pear Deck. Pear Deck works alongside Google Slides to increase interactivity in your presentations. Students are able to interact to increase their critical thinking skills as well as participation. Let's take a look. Before Pear Deck came along, a typical lesson looked something like this. So here we have a model of an atom. Does anybody know where the valence electrons are? Would anybody be willing to tell me where the valence electrons are? Does anybody want to volunteer to come up and show me where the valence electrons are? Anybody? Let's take a look now how Pear Deck has transformed my teaching. Alright all you Cougar Cubs, now it's your turn. If you look on your screen, you'll see this image. Take the line tool and drag it from these terms to the proper spot on our model of an atom. I bet you're all going to get it right. I think I'm understanding this better. This is fun and exciting! Who needs virtual football simulations when T-Pop's lectures using Pear Deck is just as fun? So what does Pear Deck look like? Let's take a moment and see what the students see. After the teacher has set up the Pear Deck slides, Students will log into Pear Deck and they'll have to enter a certain access code, similar to what you might see in other web apps such as Kahoot. If they haven't done so already, they may be asked to sign in using either their Google or Microsoft account. This is for accountability. Once the Pear Deck is started, students might either follow along with the teacher instructions or go through self-paced directions, depending on what the teacher has set up. These are specifically teacher-guided instructions, therefore the slides will move as the teacher moves the slides and the students will follow along. As students follow along with the slides, certain slides are interactive, designated by the little pair symbol on the bottom left-hand corner. This one, for example, is an open-ended question students can answer. Other slides allow students to create drawings. This slide, students need to drag and drop a pin on a picture to designate a certain area. There's even multiple choice style questions. If a student has already answered a question from a previous session or early on, it will remember them because they're logged in. There's lots of great question types that students could be, could be facing. I encourage you to explore the many varieties of question types in Pear Deck. But the real power comes from what the teachers get. Let's take a moment and look at the tool and its capabilities from the teacher's perspective. The teacher view has lots of great tools for you to help guide your students through the lesson, as well as provide some formative feedback during the lesson. Here at the very beginning, you're given a a join code that you would show your students. Let's go ahead and start this class. We have control of this lesson. This is a teacher pace lesson. You can change it to student pace where they can go through it on their own. As I progress forward through the slides, the students' computers will also progress forward. One cool thing about what we can control as teachers is the ability to show responses. This could be private on my own screen or I can share it to all the students up front. Here, for example, I can quickly get some formative feedback to see how all the students are doing generally on specific types of questions. You can change the layout of each of the types of questions. This one seems a little bit more appropriate to have an overlaid layout so I can quickly see whether most of the students are getting the right answer and if I need to scaffold the information. 
Here's an example of a multiple choice question. And the same thing, if I find that most of my students aren't doing so well, I can show them this and we can talk about what the correct answer is and how to do better. In this one, maybe I want to highlight a specific student's response. Well, I'm just going to change the layout to be the list layout and show one specific response that we can talk about what a good example is. Again, Pear Deck is great for instant formative feedback to the teachers. Now, one thing I mention, want to mention is you can lock their screens. If you want them to stop answering questions and pay attention up front, you can click this button right here, and I'll show you what that looks like right now. Here's what the students see if the teacher decides to lock the screen. One of my favorite parts is it still shows the current answer you're giving. That way you guys can talk about it. The teacher can also set a lock timer, giving students a certain amount of time, as you see up here in the upper right or upper left hand corner, to fill the answer before the screen becomes locked. Uh oh, better hurry. My other favorite part about the teacher view is the ability to add new prompts on the spot. Now, I didn't make a new slide, but I really want to ask them a quick question. So I'm going to click on new prompt and I'm going to go ahead and choose a multiple choice response. I'll verbally tell them what the choices are and they're going to go ahead and answer this question right now. When you're finished, you can end the session and give it a name and it will save it in your gallery. Not only that, if you have a premium version, it will give you more options to generate takeaways for each of the students. You're probably thinking, wow, this looks like a really powerful tool, but where am I going to find the time to learn how to use it? Well, come on, I want to show you how easy it is to use. Now, I'm going to assume that you know how to use Google Slides, a presentation creating web app that's free by Google. If you don't, you might want to go look up a tutorial video on how to do that first. Well, here I've made a new Google slide. If you have already made presentations, you're welcome to use those. Pear Deck works with all Google Slides presentations. In order to use Pear Deck, we have to download it as an add-on. So I'm gonna come up here to the add-ons menu. You can see I already have it installed, but I'm gonna assume that you don't have this in your menu. Instead, come down to click Get Add-ons. You might see Pear Deck as one of the main add-ons on the main slides. It's a pretty popular add-on. If you don't, just type in Pear Deck in the search bar. If you click and open the Pear Deck add-on, you have the ability to install it. The great thing is, once you install Pear Deck on Google Slides, it's there always. Every time you open up new slides or old slides, it will be there waiting for you if you would like to use it. I'm going to go back to my add-ons menu and open up the Pear Deck add-on. It's going to open up a toolbar on the right hand side. It's, if you look at it, it's pretty intuitive to use. Let's go ahead and create our first interactive slide. Let's make this a bell ringer. This is an open-ended question, so I'm going to go ahead and choose to allow students to create a text response. By clicking this button here and updating the slide, Pear Deck does all the work for me. And I'm done! As you can see in the bottom corner, students are able to write the response, and the little pair represents that this is an interactive slide for Pear Deck. I encourage you to try many types of student questions, such as multiple choice, adding numbers and number lines, visiting websites. Certain ones are under the premium umbrella, such as drawing and draggable options. Another great thing that Pear Deck has is a bunch of templates. You can come in here and choose some for the beginning of the lesson, or during the lesson, or the end of the lesson. They even have some subject-specific areas down here. If you need to, you can add audio to the slide as well. When we're ready to use this presentation in our class and allow students to join it, we're going to use this button right here that says Start Lesson. It's going to go ahead and ask you whether you want a student-paced activity or an instructor-paced activity. If you have the premium version, you can use student-paced. Most of the time, I just choose instructor-paced. All right, we did it. Now we're just waiting for students. This is where I'm going to tell students to go to joinpd.com, 
and type in this convenient code with this nice little mnemonic down here to help them remember. Once students are in, you can go ahead and follow through the presentation as shown before with the teacher view. In my opinion, Pear Deck does a great job to support student learning. One place that really emphasizes that is the templates in Pear Deck itself. I mentioned the template library earlier, but I would like to revisit it again to show you just how well Pear Deck supports student learning. Looking back at those lesson builders, the beginning of the lesson has things like bell ringers and do it nows. Great to get students starting the day thinking about maybe what happened yesterday or giving some type of phenomena based question to start their brain working for the nows and what's happening today. During the lesson promotes assessments, activities, and transitions. Assessments are great to see where your students are at and get that formative feedback so you can help retweak your lesson on the fly and help students understand what's going on. Finally, the end of the lesson promotes reflection and offers exit ticket ideas so students can reflect and remember what went, what went on. My favorite part is the learning development templates. Here you can see there's a whole section devoted to critical thinking. If you take a look and explore these, it gets you to get your students to make connections between ideas, consider viewpoints. They're able to describe what they observe or wonder. There's a lot of great things here to allow students to explain and draw conclusions. The other one is social emotional learning. I know this was a struggle for many teachers during distance learning to help their students socially and emotionally. This is great for students to describe how they are or provide a moment of silence. Maybe you need a little quick stress check to see how students are doing, or maybe you wanna know a little bit about them personally. Maybe you wanna teach them about active listening or how to deal with differing opinions. It's a great way to get that feedback and have collaboration for many students and see where everybody's at and show that there's some camaraderie between everybody in the same area. And the great thing is, it doesn't matter where they're at. You can use Pear Deck if they're stuck at home distance learning or sick or what for whatever reason. Pear Deck works in all locations and it could be teacher led or if you have the premium version, you can even use student led and they can just guide themselves. Now, before you rush and go start using Pear Deck yourself, I do want to take a moment and talk about how Pear Deck keeps students safe. First and foremost, Pear Deck requires student login. By doing so, it really relies on your school's acceptable use policy and you as a teacher to teach them how to be internet safe. However, Pear Deck does comply with COPA and FERPA student protection laws. And in fact, in the terms and conditions, they say that they're committed to the highest standards of protection for student data and personal identifiable information at all times. Does Pear Deck have any accessibility options? The answer is yes, but only if you pay for premium. By doing so, you'll be given the immersive reader options. And if you turn that on, students will have the ability to use the immersive reader to read what's on the slide to them. However, you do have the ability to add audio to each of the slides. You can see here by doing so, it adds another button where students can play an audio of you reading off what you need them to hear. Lastly, I just wanna encourage you with this end slide. How can you use Pear Deck in your classroom? I wish you good luck in your endeavors in trying to use Pear Deck and I wanna offer you a resource. I've built a one pager you're welcome to use and download at any point. Good luck.